talking about. In 2008, I was diagnosed with cancer. I had stomach cancer. Well, it came back again in 2014. Okay, I was following Happy Meet somehow on Facebook. We had a picture friend. I got tagged. I um, tried this tea, and I kept following her, and I was wondering, what is this tea all about that everybody kept talking about? It's always helping people lose weight, helping people with diabetes, and high blood pressure. And I said, hmm, I wonder what can I do for me for cancer? So I, I inboxed Ebony, and I said, I'm coming to give you some of that tea. And she said, okay, I'm in the parking lot of Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I had my money out before I got out of the car, y'all. I was like, I want this tea. Well, anyway, I, I got this tea. I went back to her again and got me another gallon. I was drink, I know it says drink eight ounces in the morning and eight ounces in the afternoon and four ounces at night. I was drinking that tea like by the gallon. Because I wanted to really see what it could do for me. So I went back to the doctors, kept going back for my um, chemo and everything. And they was like, oh, Miss Wayne, you are making so many change. I said, believe me, it's not the chemo you guys are giving me. It's not just the medication. It's the tea that I'm drinking. So I had to go to the hospital on the February the 13th. And I, I went ahead and stayed overnight because I didn't feel like driving back and forth. Because when you're having chemo, it, mm. it takes a lot out of you. And you be sick and it just takes a lot. But anyway, I stayed there overnight. And um, the next morning, they they did, they had pulled fluid from my stomach, did um, blood work. They I had a CT scan, I had an MRI and all that. And they couldn't figure out what was going on. They said, Miss Wayne, just sit right here. I'm like, well, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Tell me mm -hmm. what's happening. Oh, so they said, we can't find a cancer cell in your body. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, go he's ahead. an autistic child and he does a lot of the rocking mm -hmm. he does we you know uh, it, it's different forms of uh, uh, autism right. mm -hmm. and he does a lot of the banging of the head he does a lot of fissioning of the fingers and um and he has a he has a terrible thing with test anxiety in school and so i used to always have to go to the school go get him because he would be in this support if everybody know think about school, yeah. they go to the support room where they if they act out they have to they have, yeah, get off this frustration them. right so his therapist called me, and I called Ebony the same day and told her, and um, his therapist said, oh, I was already packing up my stuff, guys, at work. And it can get kind of frustrating. You got to keep constantly leaving work, and your manager's like, oh, you have to leave again. But, you know, I didn't really tell them why. But um, anyhow, his therapist called me, and I thought I had to pack up. And she was like, no, Miss Payne. She said, like, I called and tell you that Jordan for the whole, you know how they have that, that HSA oh. testing? And she said he was able to sit in class all day, the entire day, and do testing without having to go to the support room. He didn't break out. He didn't have no meltdown. Mm. I mean, yeah. that was awesome. What I give him is a Nutribirth, and I give him, I was giving him one teaspoon, but not give him two teaspoons. I just get it in the cup because I don't want him to spill none. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so he has been totally doing awesome with that. We had a meeting. They had revised his IEP, guys. He, I mean, he was so the highest point they can get in, in class a day is 150 points. He's been bringing home 150 wow. points. Wow. wow. wow.